Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you the best PDF software I use to easily edit my PDF documents, especially during I take notes from my PDF files. This software helps me a lot to easily navigate my PDFs. I'm happy to say that this video is sponsored by PDF Element and I do highly recommend this software because with PDF Element, you can easily create, edit, convert, and annotate your PDFs. So once you're finished downloading the PDF element, which I included a link in the description box and a link for a 45% discount if you want to purchase a subscription. So as you open it, click the Open Files option, then choose the PDF file you want to edit, annotate, or perform an OCR. This is what the PDF element looks like and up here they have a bunch of options that you can do and perform on your PDF document. Now I will show you some of the commands in those tabs, but first let's go through the comment tab. So with PDF element, you can easily highlight the words in your PDF. Just click the highlight icon. So this is very useful if you're doing your research and you gather info from a bunch of PDF files. Just drag your cursor on the words you want to highlight. So next is the underline feature where you can easily underline words in your PDFs and with this you can also choose a color of your choice. And now you can also add a note on your PDFs. So click the note icon and can place it anywhere. After that click the hand icon below. Then again click the note icon on your PDF and you can now start typing your notes. So this serves as a sticky note on your document. So you can also add some more notes and even include a paragraph. So by hovering your mouse on the note without actually clicking it, you can already see the content of the note. So you can also add some shapes and lines to emphasize something on your PDF. So this includes square, circle, arrow, and some other shapes that you can use. And you can also resize and move it anywhere within your document. Additionally, you can simply add a text and also you can annotate on your PDF. For the next feature, you can also perform an OCR text recognition with your PDF. So once you open a document, this sentence will appear. So just click the Perform OCR or you can go to the Tools tab and click the OCR icon. Select the options you want and after that, click Apply. Wait for it to process and there you go, the texts in your PDFs are recognized by PDF element. After that, you can now edit it. You can change the font, font size, font color, and many other commands in the PDF element. Also, by clicking the magnifying glass at the side, you can search for any word within the document and the word will be highlighted to show you its location. But before I forgot, you can also change the language by clicking the change language button to choose a language of your choice. So next is the convert feature of PDF element. Click the convert tab at the top and you will see here the different file types you can convert with your PDF. So example here is I choose my PDF file to be converted into a PowerPoint. So I just click the 2PPT option. Then just save it. After that, you can open the file and this is what it looks like. So again, you can also edit it here. Next, I will show you some of the features under the form tab. So this is very useful if you often make use and answer those PDF forms. So with PDF elements, you can simply add a text. Just click the icon and you can put it anywhere in your document. So you can also resize it, then just duplicate it. So by clicking the add checkbox icon, you can easily include a checkbox in your PDF. And with the combo box feature, it allows you to add options in that field. Add it to your document, then click the hand icon below. Next, click on the combo box and this will appear. So go to options. Then under the item, add the possible answers you want to include in that field. For example, I just included here, good, bad, etc. So lastly, if you're done, just click close. And with that, you can now answer the form. So 
So another good thing here is that you can also extract the data. You will have these options. So you can pick whatever your preference. Then just click apply. Save it. Then you can now open an Excel file that includes the data you put on your PDF. And you can also edit here if you want to. And for the last one, I will show you how you can put your digital signature in your PDFs. So go to Protect tab, then choose the Sign Document option. So I just use this document to show you an example of how to use it. Then choose these options. After that, it will require you to add some of your information. So just fill in those, then click Next. And lastly, make your own password, then click Finish. It will show you then your digital signature. And there you go, you have your own digital signature. And that is all for my PDF element video. So now let us proceed on how I take notes in Notion with PDF element. So first is, of course, you have to open your Notion page and also your PDF on PDF element. So I'm gonna make notes in my this ready subject to show it to you guys. So the first thing you would do is to perform an OCR on your PDF document. So you can add a page range or perform the OCR for the whole PDF document. Just wait for it to process. Now you can edit your PDF and you can easily copy and paste the content of it that you want to make notes. So I'm gonna add a topic title for the page. And now you can easily copy and paste your notes. This is just an example. So also during your take notes, you can study as well and highlight some parts of the PDF using the highlighter feature. So you can also add some links to your Notion page from your PDF. Overall, Wondershare PDF Element is my highly recommend PDF editing software. You don't need to be techy to use this. All of its features are easy to use and it's easy to navigate. And also you can get control over your PDF documents in every devices. So I will link some more tutorials in the description box. And there are also free download links. So if you want to avail a subscription for PDF Element, I have a link below so you can have a 45% discount. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button and see you on my next video. Bye!